Hi everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, just gonna make a video. Wanted to thank everybody first of all too for, you know, praying last Saturday at six o'clock, and I'm gonna be praying again like the same this Saturday and next Saturday. You know, just so if you ever pray at six o'clock on Saturdays, you'll know that we'll be doing it together. And I will tell you that this, that you know, when I'm praying this last time when I was praying at six o'clock and saying the Lord's Prayer, it was like in my mind I could hear like just a ton of it sounded like a, like a ton of voices, just everybody saying it together all at the same time. You know, it just it was pretty cool. I could just tell in my mind, you know, and uh, so thank you. That that was cool. We'll keep doing that. And uh, another thing, this is totally different now, but this is what I've been noticing on, like, the media, what they've been uh, really going after, pushing, you know, so you know it's going to be an agenda, it's going to be something going on. Well, it's, what I'm talking about is, is how China is now, you know, telling all of its citizens and programming all of them that this you know COVID-19 thing is all America's fault and America over here or the media and everybody they're you know saying how it's China's fault so they're just they'll be going to war you know playing each other again you know playing on the other sides against each other like that they'll all willingly go to war kill each other for a magic spell that they have all been put under you know you know that's all magic is a sleight of hand make you believe something that's not true and i don't know but i think a lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact but that they that they know that this is not a pandemic and there's other things going on agendas behind it so uh but That's why it's important to be saved, you know? Stay away from all the big crowds and... I don't know. That's why I don't like being in the big crowds anyways. Everybody acting nuts, you know? They're all... Zombies, basically. That, you know, you don't... Nobody knows what's going on. They've all had their liquid lobotomies. You know, they've been their fluoride their whole life and it's hard for them to pull out so just putting that out there watch for the war starting you know it will they had the trade war going you know they're still talking about that and it'll work into a bigger thing here but it's all done on purpose they've planned it over there just like we have there all the heads of the Governments everywhere are all working together, bringing in the new world order. That's what, you know, that's what the Bible says. You know, this is what happens in end times. Here, check. Uh, these were the tomatoes that were in my seed starter kit that I made a video of last time. There are new seeds in them cups back there, but... And, uh... Yeah, this is... These cucumbers that I had planted. I'm gonna plant them and have them grow up all over the deck. Two pots. It's a tomato. It's a black pineapple tomato. It's supposed to be delicious. We'll find out. We got our, so a couple of pepper plants here. This one right here is the giant ghost. Yeah, the giant ghost. The giant boot jalokia. I've been watching videos on how to top these things too. So soon after it gets a little bit bigger, I'm got to cut the top of this off and it promotes the rest of the pepper to really 
put some shoots out where you know you get more fruit out of it later not sure what kind of tomato plant that is regular tomato it's either a beef steak a Roma or one other kind I'm not sure and I have cherry tomatoes but they're not in pot shot and this one right here is a peach Carolina Reaper now you know these like the Carolina Reaper and the ghost pepper you know the Reaper they say in the for the heat index for the Scoval units can be like around 1.2 million to over 2 million Scovals pretty warm make some salsa out of it or add it to chili and stuff but I have eaten one of them plain before just a whole pepper right off of a pepper plant that I grew not a wasn't that that uh, enjoyable <laughs> So I'm going to be praying again tomorrow and if anybody wants to say a little prayer for, well, tomorrow will be too late. My wife's in Chicago right now so she's getting her scan done to uh, so they can tell her that she's all clear again. So any prayers for good results on that for her is appreciated. And I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.